crossed in front of the queen? No, I will stand I dutifully so. behind you. Thank you. I was raised better. Um, the, uh, this is exciting. You've never hired me. That's true. Not yet. No, I haven't. Not yet. But I always thought my projects were beneath somebody of your caliber. You were in a fish called Wanda. Why would you ever work with somebody like me? Because you didn't ask me. Not yet, but give it time. We should have some seconds. I, let me tell you, the, the 13, 14 year old uh, Kevin Smith uh, was, was raised where? In New Jersey. And he loved horror. And one of the things I loved about the Halloween series of movies, uh, you as Laurie Strode, is something that I guess, based on the trailer for this new Halloween, which was awesome, has been eliminated. One of the things I loved was when they did Halloween 2. They added to the mythology, and that was a word that didn't exist when these movies were happening. But suddenly they were like, uh, Lori is connected to Michael. No, Michael and she are not at all. You anymore. know why? Because there's nothing more terrifying than something random. Yes! You see, random acts of violence is what terrorism really is. Yes. And she was the ultimate soft target. It was a random act. And for some reason, he chose her. And that is the unexplainable, terrifying reality of her life and why that movie, I think, was so, so easy Because it was a small town, there was this ubiquity of small town life, girls walking home from school talking about boys, girls messing around with boys, all the things that young people do in a quintessential American town. And then you introduce this random element of violence, and it is terrifying. And the new movie has the same simplicity, the same beautiful qualities of filmmaking. Now, for, for me, when I was a kid, and I always tried to back the uh, reverse engineer this and tell me whether I'm on or not. Uh, you, John Carpenter, and the crew make the first Halloween movie. Nobody's thinking about a franchise. No one thought it franchise. No one thought it would be anything. Right. So John and Deborah were thrilled to be able to make a movie. I was thrilled to be in a movie. God is good. And then all of a sudden they're like, this movie made money. I know we're going to do this. Yeah, but that's the, 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 the nature of commerce and business. And what was the idea of making Lori his sister in the second one? But, to me, I know it goes away, but you got to honor an old school fan like myself who has questions. Like, uh, in that world where they were connected, do you think that was a post Empire Strikes Back movie? Mean, that's where it was smelling like. Now, but you know what? And the fact that it smells is probably why it was responded to it, because it may not have been an original idea. That's what that I, I have no idea. Well, part of it for many years said that you never wanted that. It's just that something we did in this movie. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like this movie <laughs> is eliminating all that. So what it does, this movie so careful, doesn't <laughs> eliminate them so that they don't exist in the universe. Okay. I'll it back. separates from them. Love Halloween 6. That movie still has, if there's any integrity in it, whatever integrity is in it, you can enjoy it. This movie is a direct link to only one, 1978 Halloween. And this is 40 years later, in Haddonfield, Illinois. We met Lori Strode, who spent 40 years as a trauma This is a girl who has PTSD. There were no psych psychological services. There was no team experts centered on having to help her through this. She was raised by Midwestern parents who were like, honey, you're fine.